Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about one of the most important factors when it comes to kayak fishing, and that's comfort. And there's a lot more to it than just adding a cushion to your seat. All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna be using the Bonafide RVR119 and the SS127 to demonstrate some of the things that you need to take into account uh, when making your kayak more comfortable, but these are pretty universal truths that will apply to pretty much any fishing kayak that has this frame style seat. And some of these hacks actually will even apply to any seat on the market. Um, I've got a hack that I'm gonna show you guys in the, a little bit later in the video that's using one of these knee pads that are found in the gardening section of like Walmart. But first and foremost, one of the things that you need to do is adjust your seat properly before you get in the boat. And that's probably one of the number one reasons that I see people experiencing uh, discomfort when it comes to these really high-end fishing kayak seats. All right, so with these frame seats, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that if the seat back or the seat um, pan is adjusted improperly, you're gonna be very uncomfortable. But there's also a couple of things that every manufacturer out there does that, especially as a bigger dude, drives me crazy, including Bonafide. So I actually put this seat back the way it comes from the factory so I can talk about that. Um, right out of the gate, the seat bolts that come in are gonna have the nut on the inside, okay? If you're a bigger dude and your seat frame starts to get a little bit slack, you're gonna feel those nuts, the on the back of the bolt in the side of your leg. Same thing with the seat back right here. As this seat back loosens up a little bit, or if you turn to reach for your black pack or reach for a rod, that little uh, nut on that bolt right there is gonna dig into your shoulder blades, it's gonna dig into your back, it's gonna dig into your fat right here, and it's just gonna make the seat feel more uncomfortable. So right out of the gate, when I get my seats, I'll look for anything like that, and I'll just get my tool set out and I'll flip that around, put the nut on the outside, on both sides, it's out of the way, it doesn't really interfere with anything else, but it immediately uh, prevents me from being uncomfortable because it gets rid of one of those little things that can drive you crazy when you get out on the water that you might not even realize unless you know it's brought to your attention. The next thing you wanna do is before you even get in the boat, you're gonna really wanna tighten these straps down. You're, wanna, you're gonna wanna get every bit of slack out of them that you can. And what I like to do a lot of times is even take like a stick or like some vice grips and wrap up in it and pull the strap and I've got mine like super taut. And then same thing with the seat frame, flip the seat upside down and just get all of these, these uh, straps as tight as you can get them. And in some cases, if they ever slip on me, I'll even go back and put like a little tack. I'll use some needle and thread and just sew a little tack on both sides of it just to keep it from loosening up. And that in and of itself is going to increase your comfort like exponentially, especially like I said, if you're a bigger person, you know, like I am. The next thing that you really want to keep in mind is that your seat back angle is probably one of the top reasons that are people are uncomfortable. And so let me jump in the kayak and demonstrate what I'm talking about. I see a lot of folks get in the kayak and they don't want to have their seat back up vertical. Almost always when I see somebody really uncomfortable, they've got their seat leaned back like this. And the problem with having your seat leaned back is you are in a half a crunch. You're reaching forward with your shoulders. You're actually taking your head and holding it forward, which puts strain on your neck, puts strain on your shoulders, and goes all the way down to the back of your legs. So if you'll take your seat back and raise it up vertical, what you wanna do is you almost wanna lean forward, pull it in, and it's gonna be initially uncomfortable, right? You're gonna have to get used to it, and you wanna make sure that your PFD and your seat back actually complement each other. It may require a little bit of adjustment, but you also don't want your seat back pushing your PFD up because then you're gonna be just in an awkward position. So that's the number one thing that I see people doing is being in more of a lean back position. And like I said, when you're in that leaned back position, you're in like a half a crunch. You can't really relax. Even though you think because you're leaning back, you're relaxed. By and large, if you're trying to paddle or pedal or just fishing, you're actually holding your head forward, which is putting all kind of strain on your shoulders your traps, your lower back, and it goes all the way down to the back of your heels. The second biggest problem that I see people doing, and I'll have to push the boat out a little bit to demonstrate this better, is not having a good foot brace, okay? One of the reasons I'm a fan of the Bonafide kayaks is, even if I have a motor, if I wanna go back later and just pedal that boat, I can lock that foot brace in. So what you wanna do is if you drew a line from your ankle bone to your hip, you wanna have a deflection of somewhere between two and three inches but you want to have that support. 
because if I don't have that support and my leg straightens out, you're putting more pressure on the back of your leg on the seat. So if you can put your feet on the braces, if you notice this leg here is kind of up off the seat, I'm not compressing that sciatic nerve and that strap going under the seat is gonna be less problematic. If you got that leg straightened out, for one, when you lock your legs out, it constricts blood flow. It also makes your leg go to sleep. It makes you cramp because you're trying to hold everything up with your torso. Again, you're flexing your abs, you're flexing your, your rear delts, you're flexing your shoulders, and you're basically straining to stay up. Whereas if you have that foot brace you can push against, one, you're able to keep your butt pushed back against the seat with the seat more vertical, you're gonna be in a much better posture, which is why a high seat with a drop down to the um, ankle, basically from the hip to the ankle, having a good drop is also gonna to contribute to that comfort. Now, right out of the gate, if you just set your foot braces properly, set your seat back height properly, it's going to solve about 99% of the problems out there. Now, if you get into a little bit smaller boat, which I'll hop over here to the, uh, to the river, and demonstrate this. If you get in a boat that's got a little bit lower seat, then some of these problems get compounded. And what I mean by that is you can't get your seat angle as good. You can't get that drop as easy. And so then the position of your feet becomes even that much more important. So I've already got this boat outfitted with a kayak cushion and I've already got the little pad under there that we'll talk about a little bit later. But when I sit in this boat, the seat's a little bit lower, okay? With the seat being a little bit lower, it's even more of a problem if I don't have my foot braces set correctly where I can keep that slight bend in my legs. And if I'm leaned back, I'm just compounding the problem of being uncomfortable. So again, get that seat back up to where it supports your lower back, keeps your shoulders over your hips, and then you can basically make sure that your foot position is right and you're gonna be a lot more comfortable. When you're more vertical, you can actually do a more vertical and more efficient paddle stroke, which means now you're gonna be working less, you're not gonna be straining as much, and when you're in this position, it makes maneuvering and doing things that you should know how to do as a kayak angler that much easier because, again, you're not doing it from this halfway leaned back position. So what I like to do is I like to bring the seat back up until I'm pretty much vertical. I feel no stress on my shoulders. If I close my eyes and lean my head back, I can feel the seat the top of the seat back. If you close your eyes and you lean your head back and you don't feel the top of the seat pressing into your back, it's not vertical enough. And so what's gonna happen is the curvature of your back is not touching the seat. Whereas if you got that seat more vertical, yes, you might have lower back contact, but you're not gonna have that upper back contact. And in my opinion, that is one of the number one reasons people are uncomfortable in fishing kayaks. And it's one of the easiest things to correct. So make sure that you have your seat back vertical have your foot braces adjust where one you can press on them because in a proper paddle stroke or even just sitting out there again you want to take some of that weight off the back of your legs so that your sciatic nerve isn't compressing against the bar on the seat or the frame on the seat so i talked about the fact that this boat has a little bit lower seat it's still got a good hip to knee to ankle drop on it which is in my opinion one of the most critical things when it comes to being comfortable in a fishing kayak Back when I got started almost 30 years ago, fishing kayaks were, you were sitting down on the boat and the seat backs were crap. And so you're constantly straining to hold your upper body up and your legs were straight out and your toes were bent up. Now, manufacturers like Bonafide and, and several others have identified that the pedals need to have a slight angle to them so that your foot is in a comfortable position, your legs not going down and then you have your toe kicked back up. Right? If you have that toe kicked back up, again, all that stuff's coming back up your legs. So there, again, there's a lot more to being comfortable when it comes to fishing than just the actual comfort of the seat when you do the sit down and wiggle at a demo day or when you sit down in it and just try it out uh, at a manufacturer or at a store uh, where you're trying to decide which fishing kayak you're gonna buy. So to me, a seat that I can adjust properly combined with a good you know, premium fishing PFD is critical to being able to hit that adjustment that's gonna make me more comfortable. Again, keeping the weight off the back of your leg so you're not compressing that sciatic nerve, and then making sure that I'm nice and vertical and supported so that when I'm paddling, I'm not straining to hold my upper body up, even though it seems intuitively like if you're leaned back, you're a little bit more comfortable. I think that people try initial comfort 
over long-term comfort and don't understand what they're actually putting their body through when they get out there on the water. So again, if you keep those two little things in mind, then it's gonna serve you well when it comes to being more comfortable in a fishing kayak. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out and I'm gonna say this. One of the smartest investments I've ever made and one of the best investments you can make to increase in comfort is one of these kayak cushions. These things are somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 bucks, depending on what model you get best 50 bucks I've ever spent. But before we jump into this cool hack, I gotta thank the folks at North Alabama Mountain Lakes Tourism Association for helping make this video possible. Listen, if you wanna plan the ultimate, like, big bass kayak fishing adventure, check out NorthAlabama.org, and uh, now let's talk about this hack here. So one of the biggest reasons that you, you get uncomfortable is pressure points, places where the seat is contacting you more than another one. And so I'm gonna use this seat to demonstrate this, but it pretty much works on all uh, kayaks out there. When I talked about early on, loosening these straps up or tightening these straps up, one of the hacks that I came up with is if you'll loosen these straps up slightly, especially in the lumbar region, and you'll take one of these pads and you'll slide it in behind the seat frame and then get it in front of the straps, it's going to do miracles for the comfort of your kayak. And I'm gonna show you how it's all set up once I get this thing nice and locked in. One, it's gonna help keep those straps in place. It's gonna even further tighten up the seat frame itself. It's gonna give you a little bit of lumbar support. All right, so the most important thing is that you're getting this pad. Let me come around behind the boat so I can show you. You're getting this pad between the straps and the seat. So that way, when you're leaning back on the seat, that cushion is providing some isolation between your lower back and those straps because the edge of that strap, no matter how tight the seat frame is, eventually it can start to kind of dig in to your back. So for the River 119, being a little bit lower seat, what I decided to do with this one is I put my kayak cushion on there and I put the, uh, the gardening pad below the seat because I wanted to raise my height up a little bit to help with that drop down. If there's one gripe, if you want to call it that, that I have about this boat is that I wish the seat was a little bit higher. It doesn't need to be higher because it needs to be designed for running rivers and things like that. But having that cushion under there uh, gives me a little bit of the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna jump back over here to my SS-127, which is probably a little bit more representative of many of the fishing kayaks out there. I'm gonna show you what I did to this one. Then I'm gonna throw the kayak cushion on to show you how easy it is to install. And then we'll wrap up with a few other things you should really consider when it comes to setting your fishing kayak. First and foremost, these little uh, screw heads right here or bolt heads or nuts, you wanna flip those things to the other side. Over time, that will dig into your shoulder and you'll end up with like a fester on your back and have no idea what it's even coming from, no matter how tight you get the seat back. So right out of the gate, one of the things that I like to do is change those around. Now I did communicate with the folks at Bonafide and one thing that has happened is the angle of this screw is now turned this way. So even if you don't change it, it's not as problematic as it is with some of these you know, earlier seats. And so that's why I like working with companies that actually listen. And I think for the most part, every kayak manufacturer out there is wanting to put the best product forward. So if you can communicate with your dealer, your dealer can get that information back to the manufacturer. If you try to go on social media and complain and throw all that stuff out there, it's just noise. So the best way to get information back to manufacturers so that they can fix it is to go through your dealer. Your dealer is your, your consumer advocate. So with this SS-127, the seat is already high, plus I'm gonna put the kayak cushion on there. I don't wanna be like stupid high. So what I did with this, and if you notice, one of the issues with the bona fide seats, if you don't keep them tight, is they start to get a scoop in it. If you're a bigger dude, you start to get that scoop, starts to squeeze under your legs, or you start to get these pressure points along the side. So what I did to make this seat uber comfortable probably the biggest upgrade i've ever done when it comes to comfort is to get this pad behind this first strap this first strap right here because i'm going to keep the seat frame tight is also the strap that's going to dig into the back of my legs so when you put that little pad behind it now you could also just take the strap loosen it up and you could put one of those hose insulation things on the straps themselves i just like this pad a little bit better so for about nine bucks it's one of the best comfort upgrades I've ever done to any of my fishing kayak seats. Now, if I just stop there, that's gonna significantly increase the comfort. For whatever reason, the way that this seat is shaped and how high it is and my body type, I don't really need one on the back seat. And these straps are a little further apart than they are 
on the River 119, so I don't necessarily need one on the seat back, but if you wanted to go a little bit more comfortable, you could actually put another pad behind the seat back, and you're really gonna make that seat super comfortable, super Gucci. I'm gonna show you real quick how easy it is to install this kayak cushion, and like I said, on my River 119, I actually have that pad right on the seat to give me a little bit of additional height, plus the front of that seat has got a bar, and I wanna make sure that I'm nowhere near having contact with that bar with my legs, and that bar is a little further and drops out of the way on the SS-127. So again, with this seat, all you're gonna do is take this kayak cushion, basically lay it out just like so, pull your strap through, bring it around. I always like to strap the four and a half strap first because then it'll hold it in place so that I can flip the seat over to adjust the other strap. I like to set it as far forward as I can because Back here in the back where your butt's not touching, you're getting no value out of the seat cushion. So I like to adjust it towards as far forward as I can, make it semi-taut. Then you're just going to take your side straps, you're going to bring them around just like, I'm going to get my torpedo line out the way. You're just going to grab your other strap, bring it around just like so. One thing you want to make sure that you do is not go around the outside of your outside strap because then it'll affect your ability to adjust your seat back. Again, next thing you're gonna do is just take this tag in, go through your little clamp right here, grab it, pull it forward. And then one, one thing I like to do is not over tighten this seat cushion. Uh, for one, as the fabric gets older, if you super tighten it down, it has a tendency to make the zipper tear. And then I just take my strap, just tuck in the excess right here so it doesn't get caught on stuff, pop my seat back over, and now I've made one of the most comfortable seats on the market. So you can definitely do this to the already comfortable Bonafide SS-127 or River 119 or whatever fishing kayak you're using. So keep in mind, foot braces are super critical to being comfortable because they keep that weight off your legs, which keeps your sciatic nerve from contacting the back of the seat. Having your seat back as vertical as possible is going to give you a better paddle stroke and it's gonna hold your head and shoulders up over your hips so that when you're casting, you're not in a half cast and strain. I also think it puts you in a really good offensive posture when it comes to catching fish. So in other words, when you set the hook, you've got the fish out in front of you and you're fighting it. Whereas if you're lean back, you're back here trying to fight the fish. And I see people a lot of times putting themselves at a disadvantage when it comes to fighting fish because they're back here leaned back trying to fight the fish. And you're just not as able to respond to the fish. You're not able to put as much pressure on it. You're not able to adjust and change those angles like you need to do, especially when it comes to uh, landing big fish when the fish is coming at you and the kayak's going at it. And I just think overall, you're gonna be happier. You're gonna be more comfortable. If you're more comfortable, you're gonna fish longer. If you fish longer, you're gonna be more satisfied with the kayak fishing experience. And if you're more satisfied with the kayak fishing experience, you're gonna do it longer. And if you do it longer, you're gonna catch more and bigger fish. So comfort is one of the number one reasons that people get out of kayak fishing and it's not one of the number one reasons that they're dissatisfied with the kayak fishing experience and i think a lot of times it's just little small tweaks that you can change that'll completely change your experience when out on the water so hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out the playlist where i talk about stability comfort um, rigability reliability affordability performance and then everything else you should consider when buying a fishing kayak Hey y'all listen, North Alabama really is a place where fishing dreams come true. From top-notch guides to diverse fisheries to breathtaking scenery, head down to North Alabama where you can reel in the adventure of a lifetime. And they're good! Discover unparalleled access to pristine waters loaded with everything from crappy to catfish to bass. So whether you're looking to load your cooler or catch a trophy, plan your next adventure by heading over to NorthAlabama.org.